Sounds really cool. It sounds like an eerie Christmas movie to me for some reason. Hey, this is Brian from Launcher Pro Hacks. How's it going? Well, I just upgraded my website the other day, doing some changes, some updates, and working with WordPress. It's a great application for websites because you can pretty much do anything with it. And I had the idea, you know, let's just start throwing some samples up there. You know, I'm, I'm working with a lot of stuff and, you know, I just want to just give it away, you know, because I think it's just cool to do things like that. And this is one of the things I sampled. And this thing is called Bode Vibes. Here we go. You know, it's kind of boring by itself, but it just, it had such a unique sound to it. I'm like, what if we put it in the wavetable synth that Logic has, the retro synth, and you make some cool vibe sounds out of it? Well, that's what I did. Play something on the on the keyboard. the sound I was wanting to make and I made that out of the retro synth and that's a really cool sound all right I'll show you how I did it first things first is we need a good sample and this I will actually upload this is what I use just this one sample right here that's all I did and it's in c3 and I will go ahead and I'll put this on my website logic pro hacks but here's the deal I'm not going to tell you where it is you're going to have to hunt for it <laughs> yes, there's always a catch to it. First step, we'll go ahead and create yourself a retro synth. Software instrument, and then go in here and do retro synth. There we go, retro synth. Bring that bad boy over here. Let's make that nice and big for you so you can see it. And the first thing we want to do is make it a table synth. And then, if you have the sample saved on your desktop, just go to your desktop and drag it from your desktop. And you're, what we're going to do is we're going to drag it right into here. Watch this. Check this out. I'll go ahead and do it right now. Dragging the sample over. See right now? And boom. Drop it on there. And it says this. Wavetable created. New wavetable contained 39 waveforms. Awesome. I knew it was a good sample. <laughs> So then the next step we want to do is we want to just go ahead and just take our volume down a little bit because this sample is kind of loud. I want to make sure it's like around 11, 11.5. I guess that'll work. We're going to take our mix level up to around 32, something like that. 0.32. A vibrato. We can just turn that guy all the way up. Maybe we we'll need him, maybe not. The shape. Just leave it as default. Simon tones, leave that as default. Since we're actually going to up our scent level to around 10. This will give it some nice detuning. Go ahead and take this one. We're going to move this up around 773. It's so around there. That's good enough. The other one, we're going to put this guy right on this tick mark right here. Right there. And the filter envelope, I want him around 76, and then the release around 700. And the attack envelope, I want this around 76. The attack, and the attack around 120. I want a long attack, it's going to be about 120. And the release around 340. You can do a long release too. There we go. This is going to be around a nine second attack too. We're going to have a long attack on the, something like that. That's good. Right there. In your settings, 
I'm going to do plus one octave right here on the transpose. All this can be the same. This is good. 22 is good. Voice detuning. Stereo spread is good. Two voices. We're going to change this to chorus and then turn it on. But then turn the mix level down just right there. And also turn the rate down a little bit too. We don't want it so much chorus that it's overwhelming. Just a little tiny bit. That's all we need. On the low pass filter, we're going to change this to fat. Right there. Make sure it's turned on. And we're just going to take the cutoff and we're going to put around 53, something like that. We're going to maybe set our envelope at zero right now. Might increase it later on. Our LFO all the way down. And our filter envelope, we'll just leave it at zero too. We can automate these two later on. It should sound like this if we play it. Sounds really cool. It sounds like an eerie Christmas movie to me for some reason. Just put some reverb on it. You can bust it out. I always like to bust out my reverb. Just the way I am. And I have a new reverb that I created. I call this my Lex Clone Reverb. And basically all it is, is I take a concert reverb in Logic, and you can find it in a big concert hall under Legacy, Concert Hall and Theaters, 2.9 second big concert hall. That's the one. Very nice reverb. Increase your reverb all the way up, almost max. Or heck, let's just take it up to max. Keep your dry all the way down. And there you go. For channel EQ, we're actually going to put an EQ on our reverb and we're going to extenuate the 1300. Yeah, just jack it up, dude. Jack it up to like 7.5. 500, 3.5. And we're going to take the 2950 down at 9, make it negative 9. And uh, the Q level is 71. For pretty much all of them except for the, the 500 which is a key level of 0.48 and once you have those settings down you know you can change this around to your liking this is the way it i like it uh what i did is i did a i ran a a matching eq on an actual lux clone verb and these were the <laughs> these were the settings uh the eq levels that were coming up and I did, I did a run, a, I ran a couple of tests and every time it came up around this, this kind of setting. And this is what seems to work very well with logic, especially with the, that type of reverb, the, uh, concert hall reverb right here. And it sounds almost I'm not saying the same, almost like a lexicon reverb, very nice reverb, not as good as a verb, but it's still pretty good reverb. Got that set and then put a limiter on it. And the limiter setting, just go down here, make sure the uh, mode is L4, L49. So then we got that. And let's just give it a try. Let's turn up the reverb. See what it sounds like now. Maybe a little, little bit more. There we go. Very good, very good. It's a very nice sound. And so I just thought I'd just show how you do this trick with the uh, retro synth. And this is called the Bode Vibe setting. And you can save it like this. You can even 
turn up the attack and make yourself a nice little pluck out of it. Like so. See? I can do something like, uh... I just thought I wanted to share this out to everybody because I just thought it was really cool. It was such an amazing sound that I got out of the retro synth. And remember my friends, stay groovy. This is a short one. All right, bye.